Hello and uh, welcome to my house. Stanley, can you say hello? Hi. <laughs> Good boy. So I was hesitant to doing this Cribs edition. I was hesitant to doing a tour of my house, but um, Pat's all about it. Pat also, for some reason, every time somebody comes to our house, the first thing he wants to do is give them a tour, which I find super strange, because when I go to somebody else's house, no one ever gives me a tour. Um, but that's the first thing he wants to do, so he wanted to do this, so I hope you guys enjoy. <gasps> What's in there? Let's go in there. Stanley, show us this room. Yes. This room is a disaster, Stanley. This is so this, dad's Stanley, room. Stanley, do you remember? This was originally your room. And how many nights do you think you spent in this room? Yeah, one or two. <laughs> one or two. So we tried to, what we did is we changed this to dad's office. Yeah, yeah. we got the nice blackout blinds for your office. Yeah, and we got... Well, that's, this is this is also the place we store Stanley stuff that we get. This Stanley, mommy got from Nike. Do you want to see what's inside? Yeah, let's see what's inside. Oh, what is that? Look at it. it's got my name. Yeah, what's that? Do you want to see? Oh, it's a book, Stanley. Do you want to open the book? Here, open it up. Wow. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? And do you think there's something underneath it? I think there's something underneath the book. What is it? Yeah, take that out. Yeah, what is it? Oh, Look at Stanley, it's a gold, it's a jacket. Wow, look at that. Do you like it, Stanley? We get random packages all the time and it's awesome. Um, got a hat and some shoes. And just the box is really cool, is what I really like. But okay, Stanley, we gotta put this all back. I think we can Stanley, what's in that? I actually don't I don't know what's in this box. Stanley, we gotta come off of it and open it. Can we open this box? Oh what is it? Congratulations to an incredible year. Ooh, it's wow. some suitcase, Stan. Oh, it has my little pictures. Look at that. Happy holidays. There's oh, a nice look at that. Wow, that's cool, Stanley. Isn't yeah. it? That's neat. Oh. Oh. Should we try and, and my open tag it? has my name oh, on it? Stan, what do you Yeah, think open of it. That? This is nice. Happy holidays to you, yours, and to you and yours from your YouTube family. That's super nice, Stan. This is just like a nice carry-on, hey? Yep. Oh, oh, Stanley, this is your room. Yeah, you have lots of oh, books and a books. bed. And this is the newest edition, Stanley. What are these? Rawr. Rawr. And what's out here? Look, Stanley, what's out here? Double locked, Stan, so you yeah. can't get out. Yeah, Daddy built it. It's nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, just come out here and oh, it's raining. relax, but it's raining, Stanley. Should we go back inside? There's some nice sun out here in the, in the summer. What's next? Grandma Jane's favorite room. It's the red bathroom, Stanley. Look, it's a red tub. What are you doing there? What's that? Rat. Water, yeah, water goes in there. It's the red bathroom that we turned into the badger. The badger bathroom. See, Stanley, this is Bucky it Badger. Was a gift that somebody got mommy. Can you say, go, badgers, go? Go. Yeah, good. Pretty fun, isn't it? The big criteria that Gwen was looking for when we were buying a house was the only thing she wanted was a walk-in closet. Oh. <laughs> Good catch. And we didn't get that with this house, but what then my compromise to Gwen was is we'd do a California closet. So she's got the full setup in there. So uh, this is my sleep number 360 bed, which I love. It can, I don't have my phone on me right now, but on my phone I can make it come up and down so the feet can come up. A lot of times I do that when I'm taking a nap. I'll put the feet up to get a little more blood flow back into the body or I can put my head up if I want to read. Um, that's probably one of my favorite things and it can be independent as well so like the left side and right side doesn't. They can go up separately so a lot of times when I was breastfeeding as well I'd have my side up and Pat could lay flat so um, this is my sleep number bed and it also tracks my 
heart rate, breathing rate, and how well I sleep. So that's something I, I use every day for um, measuring how I'm resting. Stanley, come show us the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Bath. Yeah, where's, where's mommy daddy's bathroom? And this is just our bathroom. Isn't it, Stan? Yeah, yucky toilet. Yeah, should we go downstairs, show everyone downstairs? Yeah. You want to do the step stool, don't you? We'll do that later. Later. Come on, let's go downstairs. Come on. Show everyone. Oh, we gotta go down the stairs. Can you go down the stairs? This way, this way, Stan. This way, big guy. Yes, I, I hate displaying medals, pictures, and I gave Pat free reign for this little <laughs> nook <laughs> and his office. Yeah. Because um, I, I do not want it to be... <laughs> the Gwen Shrine. Yeah, I don't. But this is cool. This is... Um, Red Bull used to make custom helmets. And so this one has, Stanley, a Bucky Badger. It has butterflies because I was living in Minnesota at the time and that was the state insect, insect I think, yeah. And then it has uh, Paul Bunyan. It's just really cool, the, the features that they added on that helmet. Do you want to put it on, Stan? Yeah, you're looking pretty rad. Oh, cool. Good, yeah. All your old trophies. Yeah. My favorite are the big steins from, uh, yeah, from the... Hamburg. Hamburg. And then that, those couple Island House trophies are super cool. And then remember when you did a bass race in Pasai? Yeah, and the Chapella is hanging on the and wall. the Chapella, so those are all from when we lived in the bass region. I like to just skip over this part, though. I never kept my eyes up when I walk by. <laughs> oh, yeah. One last thing we forgot is... And I actually... I actually don't even know where Pat puts it in her house. Um, but yeah, the gold medal. It's something when somebody comes over, we like to share with them. It's something, you know, I earned it a while ago, um, but it can still bring some, some joy. You wanna bite that gold? See if it's real? It's something that we can still share with others. So it's kind of a fun thing to share um, and show people when they come over. Stanley, do you wanna wear it around your neck? What do you think, big guy? Oh boy, it's heavy, isn't it? <laughs> so this is our basement, which used to be, this used to be Stanley's playroom, and now it's Mommy's and Stanley's playroom. So what's this, Stanley? What does Mommy do on this? Dad. Yeah, a run on that, um, which has been really nice. And then we keep a bunch of toys down here, and I get treatment down here with uh, massage, which is always nice. So yeah, this is just kind of my playroom now. What do you think, Stan? You gonna go for a run? Uh, we just got the full Zwift set up in the basement, so, you know, Gwen can run, I can ride, vice versa. Gwen's going back and forth between those, so. When we moved into this house, they came with all these speakers, and we just need to figure out how we can use them uh, to play music. This is just our guest bedroom, which people like Talbot when they come by, who's behind the camera right now, are able to, to stay, and it's nice because they have their own, almost their own floor. Um, so they have this bedroom and then they have their own bath in there and we have a wash and dryer. So it's kind of nice to have a little bit separate from uh, everyone upstairs. So the, this room, definitely the kitchen, that's where I spend a lot of my time. I do all the meal prep for Gwen. I do all of the you know, meal prep for Stanley as well now too. And obviously this is just a nice open space. So got some brisket from today. Got some leftover food. Always loaded up with uh, Pete and Jerry's eggs. So yeah, this isn't so bad. I always, the fridge is always in a scenario where I can, I can make something happen. I can put something together and make a meal. So I always try to keep that in the pantry fully loaded up. This room's small, right? So it's the dining room, kitchen, all compressed into one, but that was what we really kind of dug about this house. Um, you know, so what happened was, how we got this house was Gwen was, we were living in Portland, renting a place, um, and Gwen was training, I was with her down at a training camp in Flagstaff, and this house came up on the market, it might have been on a, boy, it might have been on a Friday, and I think I flew here on Sunday came and looked on it, at it, um, put in an offer on Monday, and we eventually got the house. Um, not a lot of work that we had to do on it right away. Uh, you know, the paint is as it is. We took down, redid all the blinds, got rid of all the curtain rods that were in here, so really just tried to tidy it up. Um, but pretty much the house was, was moving ready, so we did some exterior paint, new furnace, new AC. Um, we did the deck, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then we did my favorite part, which we're coming into, the garage. 
built out the garage in here. Um, I just really wanted a space to work on bikes, continue working on bikes. Uh, that's still a big passion of mine. So me and a good buddy, Fred, um, just built this out. So we did sheetrock along here, a couple hooks, can do the bikes, got all the wheels up there. Um, and then I've just got all my tools. So unfortunately it's a bit of a mess right now, but that does mean I think that it gets used and I try to use it up here as much as possible. So you can see we got the two e-bikes ready to go. Um, yeah, so this is a this is a space that gets used quite heavily. One of my favorite little things that's very Portland specific, you gotta have the shoe dryer. It's just, it's just a must. You always, you gotta have the shoe dryer and if you live in Portland. So um, if you're looking for gifts for people that you know that live in Portland, 30, 40, 50 dollars, you can find a nice four shoe dryer uh, on Amazon. So yeah, have a look. That's an awesome one right there. So I really like this, this, I don't know what you want to call it, living room type of thing that we had. This is, this room obviously helped sell the house. Um, tons of natural sunlight coming in, which we, which we really like. And then the, uh, the, the biggest thing is just, you know, this whole room was just really lit up from the sun. So I think when you came in here, So this is our minivan. I'm actually sponsored by David's Hobbs Honda in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And they said I could have any car I wanted and I picked the minivan, which I think is awesome. It's been really good. Pat and I have used it. You want the door shut? Okay. It's really easy to put bikes in the back. It's really easy to put the stroller in the back. So it's super convenient. Uh, it was super convenient before Stanley. And now that we have Stanley, it's even more convenient. So Stanley loves driving as well, as you can see. Um, and yeah, so this is the, the vehicle we have. What do you think? We're going to the backyard. Two things that I love in the backyard. I did one project where I made the deck rainproof. Second project, I made a compost pile, which I absolutely love. So, this is our deck right here. And again, my buddy Fred and I did all this where it's, um, we did paneling underneath here. So the rain that's coming through the deck just runs off into here, goes into a gutter and is gone. Um, and my thought was, you know, this slab is about 300 some square feet. And my, my thought was, um, give Stanley a place to play where he can get still be dry, but can come out and be in the elements. So um, we just started using this space. He loves it on a day like today when it's, I don't know, 38, 39, 40 and pouring rain. You can dress warm, not get rained on, um, but you're still outside. So I really love this. And if you see way over there, you can see my compost pile. And that's just been a total hoot. Uh, you know, there was just so much waste that we were going through in our house with just the amount of food that we cook um, and just all these table scraps and whatnot that, that I really wanted to get rid of um, and not go to the landfill. So I watched a movie on the plane about landfills and I just thought I could do this one myself. So super easy. All I did, I had some spare two by fours right here, went and found some crates at Harbor Freight and there you go. So bought myself a pitchfork. I mean, and look at this. This was, this whole pile, not that long ago, because I got some yard waste in here, was up to here, and it's just slowly compressed down. And, you know, I don't know that I'll even turn this into compost, but I just wanted to uh, have it not go to the landfill. So pretty sweet little spot. Everybody's had to hear me talk about this, similar to, you know, what Gwen's talking about, me having to give everyone a house tour. I've got to show everyone and tell everyone about my compost pile. So yeah, pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for coming on a tour of our house. Um, if you didn't have the chance to come over for dinner at some point in the future or past, maybe this will be just as good. So thanks for tagging along. See you next time. What do you think? Do you want one? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Say bye. Bye. Oh boy.